Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome to the channel. I'm Jeff, you're not. So today's option we have for doing a video, sorry I'm not that good at carrying this camera around. Uh, big car show coming up this weekend and I want to show you some of the stuff that I do to prep for a car show. So we'll have to go out to the garage and check the beast out. She's got a flat tire. Hold on a minute, I gotta check something. Why wouldn't you know that? Hey, did you know you had a flat tire? No, I just can't. I just got home a couple hours ago and I was fine. But no lights come on or anything like that? The, the lights came, there were tire lights came on like two days ago and I told you and you said it was just because of the weather. The, the right, well, you didn't keep track of it. I asked you to look at it each day to see. And the, your back tire's almost flat. Well, it's not my fault. It's your car, you gotta keep you. track of it. Well, it just happened, just, Jeff. Well, the way, as flat as it is, you didn't feel, look at it. Oh, well, that's not just air pressure. There's something else wrong. Right, I agree with it. Well, you're gonna have to fix it. I know, do you see any screws or not, anything, like nails or anything no, in it? No, it might be on the bottom. All right, well, either way, I'll take it off, all right? We well, you have to hold the camera because I'm not going to do. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do the video I was planning on doing, and that's the way everything works. Every every time you plan something, something else happens. So, uh, okay, here it is. You're going to wash and wax your wax your car. Right, I know, but I'll try to do that tomorrow. I, I got late meetings tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. But either All right. way, well, this is a perfect opportunity, though, right? Yeah. Okay. We talked about doing a tire change video because not a lot of people know how to change a tire in a car. A lot of people rely on uh, AAA or somebody else doing it. So since we're here, you're going to see how to change a tire properly and safely. Tara, you're going to learn how to do one properly and safely too. Because remember we taught the kids back in the day. I know, I have no idea how to change a tire. Well, All, well, I, I kind of have an idea, but I don't know that I, I All right, come know here so we can, specifically. People, people can see. Most of the time, the spare tire, unless you buy a used car, and sometimes the salesmen take it out and then they sell them and then they charge you for a spare tire. Most of the time, a spare tire is in the back of your car. Sometimes pickup trucks have the hit or the, uh, the jack and the uh, lug nut wrench under the seat. In here, Terry has the spare tire. I always keep these lug nuts in every car. And the spare tire is always good though? That, that's what I said, you gotta check your spare tire. You always gotta be sure that your spare tire is good and has air in it. Another thing is safety. Safety, if you have a flat tire on the side of a road, you don't wanna be in the road changing the tire. So you wanna get off the road as safe as possible. You wanna take that car, even if you can take it in a parking lot. Who cares if you shred the tire if you got a spare? So again, I'd rather pull off the side of the road and shred a tire than die getting hit by a car. So, but again, getting back to it. All right, so. Ah. So here's the spare tire. It's one of the donut styles. It's a full, it's a tall style, but it's still not supposed to go over 50 mile an hour. We're gonna put that little bastard on there. And I guess you've never had this out. Okay, here's the jack. This is a jack, they're cheap as heck, but, but they still do the job for the car. This is the factory lug nut wrench that they give you to take the lug nuts off. This is the twisting mechanism so you can turn the jack. And th this will fit in here, I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do, again, you wanna make sure you're on a safe area, right? Safe, flat area. Another thing is, open the car and put your emergency brake on. Boom. Make sure it's in park or in gear is another good idea. But again, safety first. So then we're going to learn, put the jack under the car. And again, they're not the easy to work, easiest to work. So we're going to do it by hand until we get it up to the level of the car. And most of the times, if you look at your owner's manual, you know, looking up my nose, are you? <laughs> so, yeah, if you look at your owner's manual, that you'll they'll tell you spots to put the jack on car, whether it's the front of the car or the back of the car. You're going to learn just by looking at your owner's manual. And again, it takes forever, but and 
if I had a floor jack out here, it would be a heck of a lot better. But it's, right now, for you know, shits and giggles, we're going to show you how to do it. And okay. what are you doing exactly? You're getting it to I'm go up? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm getting it to go up. Uh, no, yeah, I'm trying to get slowly turn this till it meets the uh, frame of the car. So it lifts up the car. Yep. Don't look up my pant leg either. So, so again, I don't like these things because they're a pain. But if this is all you got, so then you do this. See how the car is going up? So then you take the socket wrench or the uh, lug wrench. This star wrench is the perfect thing for busting the lugs on a tire. Because a lot of the places that you go to get a new tire or car dealer, they use a uh, impact wrench and they put them on so damn tight you can never get them off. So, but what's the first thing you say when you see you have a flat tire? Right? I don't know. Someone help me! I have a flat tire! <laughs> right. yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Alright, All right, get back to business. So. So we got, all those are busted at least loose. Then we're going to take the car and jack it the rest of the way up. Again, righty tighty means you're tightening it up, which is pushing the tire and the car up in the air. It would be so much easier if I had an impact wrench and a floor jack, but up for, for the showing purposes, this is the way we're doing it. So again, it takes a long time, but if you take your time with this and learn how to do it properly, you'll be, you'll be good in any situation, especially one like this. Because everybody gets a flat tire at some point in time in their life or their ownership of a car. But I can't re-emphasize I enough. know, I've had several. Yeah. Yeah. How many have you changed? None. Oh, okay. That's what you're for, aren't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Among other things, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now we're to the point of taking the lugs the rest of the way off. See, with these star wrenches, how easy it is. Oh. Easy peasy. Lefty loosey. Son of a... Good How many are there? Five? On this one, there's five. Sometimes there's four. Sometimes there's six. Depending on the size of the car, the truck, where you get like the, the, uh, the new Ram, that's bigger and that's got two wheels in the back. Bingo. There's the flat tire. So you always try to look to see if there's any like screws or nails in it. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't focused on you. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So, but no, you always try to look for screws and nails. But these tires we had just bought in January of this year. So what's going to happen? This tire is going to go back to Mavis, and I'm going to make sure that if it's the valve stem, they'll replace it. If it needs a plug, they'll they'll do it. Even though I can do that stuff. Because we're have them. because what? They're warranted. Yes, it's all warranty. So then we're going to grab this nasty looking little tire and again since the tire was flat this may be oh no it looks good line up your lugs start them by hand sometimes i get in a hurry i screw things up but i think i got a lug stuck in my butt cheek i think yep there it is it came out so hopefully it was good for the lug as it was good for me now, would somebody like me be able to tighten them well enough that I can still ride on the road? Yep, as long as they're snug, you can get go a short distance. But these, these things are rated for like 50 mile an hour tops. And okay. I always advise, get, them, get it repaired as soon as you can. See, that's what's good about that. There's that. See? Okay, so you'll take my, my tire to get fixed? Yep, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take your car because I hate driving one of these donuts. I'm going to take my truck, like I said, over to Mavis and Violin, and they'll take care of it for me. And again, that's all part of the warranty we got on the tires. 
So, are you going anywhere with this? I would advise not. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on it oh, okay. until like Monday. Okay, so these are all basically snug. Since you're not going anywhere, I'm gonna leave it like that then. But you are good to go anywhere locally if you had to while I'm, I'm at in violent, all right? So yeah. do you want me to un take the jack out too? Yeah. Okay, just saying. I didn't know if you wanted to do it. No, I don't want to do it. See, lefty Lucy, you're, you're loosening the jack, which is lowering the car. Now I'm sweating like a pig. So I guess I am going to have to push the car till tomorrow. Huh? I guess I'll have to push. You still have plenty of daylight. You can wash and wax your car or yeah. whatever you got to do. Okay, see, there we go. We're almost to the point of. Voila. So Very right good. now you got, you're, you're good to go. You can go anywhere. I'm going to take this spare tire, like this tire, over to Mavis, all right? Mm hmm So, again, I hope this helped out. Uh, we'll, we'll try to do stuff like this every once in a while, trying to help out everybody that may have not known something. I got plans on possibly doing It does breaks. seem pretty easy. It is pretty easy. It's just a lot of people are, are afraid to attempt it. Yeah. And, or they'd rather call somebody. But anytime you can save a few bucks and put it towards something else and you can do it yourself, it makes you feel a little bit better. And that's what we're all about, trying to be, feel better about ourselves and make the world a better place. Thank so, you. So peace out. Enjoy it. Hopefully it helped. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye.